Brida made of Reddit who was involved in a Bridazilla wedding. What happened? Bride was blonde. All bridesmaids except for me were brunette. She asked me to dye my hair brown for the wedding because she wanted to be the only blonde. I suggested that instead I just give up my bridesmaid spot. Thankful to this day since I heard the dresses and bachelorette party cost all the other girls more money than I make in a month. I like your style. I was almost in a Bridazilla wedding. I had an ectopic pregnancy. Baby attached to my tube, which then burst, and I almost bleed to death. She got engaged shortly following my ectopic. When she asked me to be her bridesmaid, she told me that I would be required to wait to try to have another baby until after her wedding in 1.5 years. Not because there would be a small child at the wedding. Not even because she didn't want me fat at her wedding. But because if I lost another child, it would take away from her engagement and wedding. I was so shocked I just declined and have never spoken to her since. Update. My cousin is on Reddit. She wrote me a scathing email about how mean everyone was to her, and I needed to update this and tell everyone it was her second wedding and she wanted it to be special this around. Also I needed to defend her. Instead hi Jessica. Keep sending this to grandma. I really don't care. Frick that lady. I'm sorry you went through that. I'm honestly shocked there's people out there who think it's okay to talk out loud like that. This was my sister's wedding so hold on tight. My sister had 10 bridesmaids. Most of them were her sorority sisters from college. They wanted to plan an elaborate weekend for the summer, while most of them were still in school without jobs. When I asked hey, who will pay for this my sister got pee that I even asked. When I also reminded all the bridesmaids them that our father who had stage 4 cancer wasn't doing so well and that maybe the bachelorette bridal shower should be close by. They all flipped thinking I was being insensitive to the bride. I was promptly asked not to be a bridesmaid to my own sister's wedding over these two things. I was fine with this as she was a bridezilla and I spent time with our dying father. He died two weeks after her wedding day that he couldn't attend because he was in hospice care one day before her wedding. To me, she put herself before our ailing father, and it still makes me mad. I'm sorry about your dad. I'm glad you got to be with him instead. <laughs> Bridesmaid to a Bridezilla here. The bride spent a lot of time crying and carrying on whenever she didn't get her way because it was her wedding and we should all do exactly what she wanted. Which is not to say we didn't we sure did. She wanted everyone to justify her irrational and horrible behavior because it was all about her. She didn't enjoy it much when I told her she was wrong for kicking someone out of her bridal party, terminating the friendship, and pitching a fit because the girl couldn't make bridesmaid dress shopping because she was sick and had to go to the hospital. This is also coming from the same woman who got angry and didn't speak to me for months because I didn't come see her to congratulate her on her pregnancy when I was home on furlough for a week at Christmas. My wife's best friend is a florist by trade, gifted her services to decorate her friend's wedding. Big cost savings. Wedding goes as planned all is good. Afterwards bride and bride's mom get pissy at florist friend who didn't give a gift in the wedding card. Didn't even cover her husband's plate let's conveniently forget the $1000 in floral products gifted to the wedding. It's a rift that never healed between them since. WTF. My mom and I shrugged off the people who didn't bring gifts. Their presence was a gift. But I didn't marry my mom. I married my husband. I had a silent Bridezilla. She was my best friend of 15 years and didn't ask for much at all through the wedding planning as there was only 2 months between engagement and the wedding day. No bachelorette party. No dress shopping. No gift giving. No meeting up in person to do anything. We lived 2 hours drive away from each other. Didn't want my input. Just wanted me to be there and go find my own dress and look pretty. Okay. Whatever you want. You're my bestie and I'm excited you're getting married. On the day I wasn't allowed to help with hair and makeup, just had to focus on my own. Apparently I couldn't be trusted to do it well enough as I have short hair. Okay fine, it's your day, whatever. Crap went down afterwards where she got her sister, the maid of honor and also my close friend for 15 years, to call me up in a 2 hour phone call and criticize my every little move throughout the entire wedding and say that I should never had accepted to be a bridesmaid if I didn't want to participate. And had gone through my Facebook page and noted down page and noted down page and noted down page and noted down. Look at my new bowling ball. I've joined a bowling league for fun. 
and said how I should have spent that money on the wedding instead. The wedding was set two days after Christmas, and her family didn't even celebrate that Christmas that year because of the wedding, and I was criticized for not spending more time with her, even though I the day after Christmas I took a 3 hour train trip just to hang with her the night before her wedding. Apparently I should have stayed the night if the wedding to hang with the other two bridesmaids, but I opted to drive home with my boyfriend as I need to work. She said from the start she was going to pay for makeup to be done on the day, then two weeks before said I needed to drive two hours to go buy a specific brand for myself to wear that was really expensive, which I did, even though I was broke from Christmas shopping, but apparently I had some attitude about it. Then I was criticized for not giving a gift, despite being told being a bridesmaid was gift enough. The bride herself just stopped talking to me, blocked me on Facebook and after months of bulls I just cut them both out of my life. I haven't seen neither of them since the wedding day which was now 5 years ago. Never even got to see the wedding photos. Sad that long term friendships end over nothing. If she had expectations, say something. Don't expect me to guess then judge me for failing your expectations and be too chicken crap to talk to me about it directly. My dad had the audacity to die 6 weeks before the wedding, and she couldn't understand why that superseded her wedding details for me. I met my husband at her wedding, haven't spoken to her since. I couldn't attend my friend's last minute destination wedding because I had to visit my dad out of state to handle hospice arrangements he was dying of cancer. She threw an absolute hissy fit, attempting to guilt trip me because I couldn't afford to make 2 plane flights. That was the end of our friendship. My ex best friend was a trip. This story is just one of the many, many reasons I no longer speak to her. She tried to make me and another bridesmaid walk down her outdoor, uneven, teal covered aisle without glasses. She told us the morning of the event, so we didn't have any time to get contacts or anything. She threw an ear hysterics fit because she was convinced that we would ruin the aesthetic of her wedding. I told her that she would have a single groomsman walking that aisle if she made me walk without them. She started bawling but her mom was able to get her calm down enough for her to agree to let us wear our glasses so we could actually make it down the aisle in one piece. Her mom essentially said that she's more skinny and beautiful than either of us and no one would be glancing at her bridesmaids anyways because we aren't important. Gee, I wonder where she gets it. When she eventually messages you to sell you your unique, tell her I said to go frick her hat. A friend of mine in college was getting married at 19 because she was super conservative Christian and she wanted to freak. Between the time I agreed to be a bridesmaid and a couple of months before the wedding I lost some weight. She got super pee at me because she wanted to be the skinny one on the stage and threw me out of the wedding party. Oh well. She's got messed up priorities. Good riddance. Not a bridesmaid, but my mom was a wedding photographer for many years. Long story short. The father of the bride had a heart attack and as he was being carried out on the stretch of the sobbing bride yells, how could you ruin my wedding like this? Maybe he faked it to get out of there. It was a best friend of mine who was very frugal, so I figured she was going to have a reasonable wedding and bachelorette party. I had shared my monetary concerns with her too, that I worked and went to school and couldn't take off much time. She didn't have that many friends so it was only me and one other girl as bridesmaids. She asked us to hand make all her decorations for the wedding. I put in 15 hours a week hand making decorations, all outside of working and going to school full time. Then she planned a week long bachelorette party out of town, also asking us to foot the bill, not to mention our dresses which I wanted to find something affordable. But she picked designer matching dresses that we had to pay for, never worn it again, been trying to sell it online. I spent nearly 1k on the whole ordeal. Not to mention I did her hair and makeup for free for the wedding. I just felt largely taken advantage of and unappreciated. We are no longer friends because we ended up working together. After the wedding. And she tried to screw me over at work. It all makes me very reluctant to agree to be in someone's wedding again. Even someone I thought would be considerate of everyone else's budget and time. So she pretty much treated you like a GoFundMe. That's terrible. The short story is that she lied. She lied to the venue about the number of guests that were attending, effectively packing us like sardines. She lied about having a day of staff. That meant that all the dates of the bridesmaids spent the day hanging flowers, running to get kegs and waters, 
pouring the champagne for guests, setting up the entire venue the day before. She lied to the hair and makeup personnel about the number of people who were obtaining services in order to get them to come to the site. This forced guests to get hair and makeup done in order for the bride not to have to be charged extra. She lied to the catering about the number of guests, this caused them to run out of food and alcohol. All in all, I think her lies saved her $1,500, but cost her close friendships as her attitude toward the whole situation was indignation instead of being apologetic. If you can't afford a big wedding then don't have a big wedding, ugh. That's why I'm getting married in the courthouse and having a party, lol. I didn't make it to the wedding, I was best friends with the woman. Literally we did everything together. She assembled her wedding party and didn't invite me. She threw me my bachelorette, witnessed my marriage, etc. I found out later I wasn't invited because I was overweight and her mother thought that would limit bridesmaid dress choices and throw the wedding photos off. At least I know. Dodge a bullet. My first job out of college, a colleague got engaged and asked three colleagues to be her bridesmaids. In addition to one friend from high school, I had only known her for a matter of months, but I didn't feel comfortable saying no because she was one of my bosses. In addition to being in a wedding for someone I barely knew, which is crappy in its own right, there were so many horrible things about this nightmare Bridazilla wedding. First, I ended up hosting both her bachelorette and her shower because no one in her life planned anything, and she showed up to her own shower an hour late hungover and wearing pajamas when she mandated that everyone dress for a luncheon. She ordered our dresses from Etsy, as opposed to any bridesmaid dress company, and they looked like seafoam green raw silk pillowcases with holes cut for the arms and head. They tied in giant bows in the back and we all looked like literal infants. She wouldn't let us wear heels with said dresses because the groom was kinda short and we all had to buy new flats in a specific shade of gold. She wanted us to wear our hair in a really ugly, extremely complicated updo, and said we would have to pay to have one of the hairstylists do our hair. We refused. The wedding was on a Sunday in an extremely inconvenient and far away location, and it was not the Sunday of a long weekend. The rehearsal dinner for this Sunday wedding was Thursday and started at 4 in the afternoon, requiring everyone to leave work in the middle of the day. But she forced us to stay at an expensive hotel in the area the night before the wedding for no apparent reason and refused to pay for our hotel room. Fun times. And that's why she has no friends and had to have work colleagues she barely knows in her wedding. Cringy. Bride had two weddings. Pretty different financial backgrounds between us and I was friend of the groom that became a friend during their engagement. She had one wedding in the local state she grew up and one destination wedding a month later. She couldn't decide which dress to get, so she bought three. I was maid of honor at the local event and supposed to be in the destination wedding. Had to overdraw my bank account to attend and cover expenses so I was really a bit in awe at all the extravagances. It was a 3 hour ceremony with 2 venue changes I want what I want and it's my day I gave people for that still ringing in my ears just thinking of it. She spent 60k in credit card debt on her perfect day, s, which she told me the day before she had not informed the groom. The best part was when she was in her second wedding dress change, she started to scream about how things weren't exactly what she wanted, standing there half dressed and drunk yelling about how the cake wasn't perfect. 3k cake that was transported from another state was slightly smushed on the backside from hours of travel. The whole bridal party was just standing there in the hallway waiting to take pictures again I told her to shut up. Said I wasn't going to come to wedding in Ireland. Reminded her that her hundreds of guests could hear her drunk butt and fixed her bustle. She was such a little tantrum throwing crap. At the end of the Irish dancing groups, the toasts and her wedding dance that was choreographed. Her paid wedding planner offered to give me C for putting up with such a spoiled crap. The lady did it loudly in front the an aunt who later told the bride, yeah, it sucked. She is a great girl too. Just a terrible bride and drunk. TL. DR wedding planner offered me drugs for putting up with the bride. My best friend just got kicked out of being a bridesmaid because she couldn't spend the $1,500 to go to the bachelorette's party. All the other costs were killing her. The bride told her to take out a credit card to pay for it. One of our friends made the best comment over the situation. She, the bride, just did you the best favor ever kicking you out of the bridal party. 
Not a Bridazilla story, but I was in three weddings in the span of one year and one interesting thing I noticed was that there is always one bridesmaid that the bride stops being friends with after the wedding. You can start to see which bridesmaid it's gonna be about halfway through the engagement. My mom was the bride. She didn't have bridesmaids but I, her daughter, was going to walk her down the aisle. I've had purple or blue hair for quite some time, and I checked almost a year in advance with my mom that it would be okay for my hair to be blue for the wedding. I checked again every few months, every time I was told to stop insinuating that she was a Bridazilla. Of course my hair was fine. Two weeks before the wedding, my own mother threatened to disinvite me from the wedding if I didn't fix my hair. So I went and got it done came home and my mother told me I was shallow for changing my hair to keep up appearances. Sigh. Getting it ray dyed back to blonde cost me over $300. Friend asked me to be a bridesmaid in her shotgun wedding that was to take place in a little over a month. She has us order semi expensive dresses and they had to be altered to a certain length. Shoes had to be ordered. Toenails had to be painted neutral color and fingernails had to be French manicure. We weren't allowed to paint our own nails we had to get them done at a salon. Hair had to be done professionally by her hairstylist. And we were not, under any circumstance, to have bikini tan lines visible. Mind you, this was right after summer. I lived in an area where beach attire was usually the only attire and everyone had visible tan lines. I eventually had to tell her that I could not afford to have everything done professionally with such short notice. I would be happy to do my hair and makeup. My hair was so short I couldn't do an updo. She told me her mom could pay and then I could pay her back. That was the final straw. I sent an email to her telling her I could no longer be in her wedding. She was pregnant, about to get hitched, and now I was adding to her list of problems. I valued the friendship and told her such, but just couldn't do what she was asking. I hadn't heard from her for years, until one day she sent me a message, asking for me to buy from her MLM campaign. FFS. MLM is multi-level marketing. FFS is for frick's sake. I was planning on rolling up to this wedding dressed as a zebra in a bunny suit with 6 day old and washed bedhead and smeared mascara. Not the case. I'm more than willing to do what it takes to look the part and be part of her special day. But having ridiculous demands and expecting for your bridesmaid to pay quite a bit for it on such short notice is what got me. The email that I sent her was polite and really hammered home the point that I could not afford what she was asking. Either she'd have to be okay and trust that I wouldn't look like the babadook, or that I could back out of the wedding so that she wouldn't have to stress. I wasn't mad at her. Things happened way too fast and she had no time to plan. I get it. I don't have any hard feelings towards her. Yes, I posted to Antimlmel lol. You did the smart thing. And quite frankly, that seems really rare after having read through these stories. If you can't afford something, the answer is to tell the bride your request is not possible because I can't afford it. I was the maid of honor. I helped plan the whole wedding. I went to all the awkward parties with family members I had never met. I was close with the bride and groom, not their families. The whole time we were planning she kept talking about being a Bridazilla like it was an inevitable phase she would go through. FFW all the way to the end. She suddenly decided that her sister needs to be the only one involved, but I can still be the maid of honor. She calls me the day of the bridal shower and asks why I wasn't there and insists she told me the date. She hadn't. She fires me on the spot and I don't talk to her again until a few days before the wedding. She tells me that I can still come but she had asked one of her husband's ex-girlfriends, someone she didn't know to be her new maid of honor. Day before the wedding she asks me to be the usher, says I can show people to their seats, the gift table, the bathroom. I didn't attend the wedding. This last year I was my friend's best lady which means I stood on the man's side. Everyone helped set the wedding up, it was a blast. I declared myself his shield maiden and spent the entire time protecting him from everything, even a few birds in a bush. Comma this last year I was my friend's best lady which means I stood on the man's side. Everyone helped set the wedding up, it was a blast. I declared myself his shield maiden and spent the entire time protecting him from everything, even a few birds in a bush. You and your friend sound like real brothers. Friend from college. We spent 3 months planning her bridal shower. She was not at all involved. When she finally looked at the plans one week before the party, she said it wasn't what she'd had in mind. 
She then delays the wedding, which every one of her 400 guests had already made travel accommodations for, so that she can have her dream bridal shower. Plans $25,000 weekend in Vegas. Booked presidential suite for herself and economy rooms for us, which she expected us to double up in. Wanted us to pay for the trip between us all evenly. 25, 000, 000, 000 stroke 7 equals 3570 per person. And this isn't even including her. She said you're my bridesmaids. You're kind of supposed to pay for my bridal shower. I didn't have that kind of money at the time and told her so. Same with 5 other bridesmaids. The other 2 were her sisters. So she and her sisters have the bridal party on their own. Day of the wedding. She informs me I need to dye my hair and pay for it myself because my hair color is too similar to hers and it would be distracting. There aren't enough redheads so I was thinking you could be a redhead. To top it all off, she informed us after the ceremony that to save money, we wouldn't be served a meal along with the rest of the guests. You already had the privilege of being in my wedding. So, what more can you ask for? I didn't contact her again after the wedding. She reached out to me to ask how to return my gift for store credit. I never replied. TL. DR. Pay $3750 each for my bridal shower. Dye your hair. And oh by the way, I didn't get you food because you're not a normal guest. Can you let me know how to return your gift for store credit? I can put up with a lot of crap. But if you don't feed me at a wedding after all the crap, that's a walkout. Take my gift and leave their life forever kind of thing. Eating at the wedding you're part of the wedding party for is such a low bar I wouldn't even consider it as part of my expectations it's so obvious. I was in a wedding where the bride planned to separate bachelorette weekends for herself and got mad at anyone who couldn't wouldn't spend 2-3 day weekends at dollar sign 500 slash each away from their husband's kids jobs. The week leading up to the wedding the temp for the big day was forecast to be a high of 10 f. February wedding. Ni US. Bride was insisting on outdoor photos without coats because we can't hide the dresses everyone, including the photographer, tells her heck no. Day of she pitches a fit when we refuse to do more than one quick photo. Afterwards, she stopped talking to 75% of the bridal party because of their refusal to accommodate her outrageous demands. To this day, years later, she still complains about how her bridesmaids ruined her wedding. Has wedding in February. Once outside photos. There were a lot of moments. One of my favorites was her bachelorette party was the same weekend as my birthday. We weren't allowed to do anything for my birthday at all on the trip. Not even mention it. On my actual birthday, some of my friends got some balloons and a little cake from the hotel. They tried to keep it a secret but Britazilla came in the room, saw everything, didn't say a word and walked out. She was peed because our friends wanted to do something small for me on my actual birthday. It was fitting that the wedding ended in huge family drama. I definitely stopped talking to her after the wedding was over. Dude that sucks. I'm sorry. My birthday was two weekends before my best friend's wedding but we live several hundred miles apart so we didn't get to celebrate my birthday together. At her rehearsal dinner she gave me a tiara, a birthday girl sash, and a gift and said she wanted her rehearsal dinner to also be a late birthday party for me. She's definitely a keeper. Not a Brita maid, but a witness to one. The bride got walked out on by her entire bridal party, except her maid of honor. Of course it was because no one loved her, and everyone wanted to ruin her day, not because she ripped a Brita maid's dress from the neck down, in an open area, because it was too white. It was the dress the bride insisted on all the maids wearing. Comma the bride got walked out on by her entire bridal party. Goddamn. Never seen a vote of no confidence at a wedding before. Loads of little things adding up. Two things I remember standing out. She started with the turbo crazy at her hen do. It cost over 400 pounds to spend a 3 day weekend away. That's not unreasonable in itself. But rather than appreciate the effort everyone made she came back from night 2 screaming her head off that one of the girls was a miserable bee for coming back from a club an hour earlier than the rest of the hens because she wasn't feeling. 
comfortable in the big crowd. She said she would make her pay, and then gloated on the eve of the wedding that she had put her on a table with a very attractive girl because she knew she was insecure about her looks and wanted her to feel self-conscious as punishment for the early dart three months earlier, spoke to me like absolute crap the whole run up to the wedding, then pitched a fit at me in front of the whole bridal party because I had the nerve to bring a bag with my purse car keys in it after she had mandated we were all to leave our stuff at her house, with no way of picking it up as she and the groom were staying in a hotel that night. I was the only bridesmaid with no significant other to give that stuff to so would have been stranded at the venue without it. Made me see how vile a person she is and our friendship is now over following her pulling some even more crazy crap a few months later. Just a shame I wasted so much energy on her over the years. Picked $400 bridesmaid dresses. Destination bachelorette that cost over $1,200. Insisted on a super expensive spot for the bridal shower. Registered at William Sonoma. I was a broke but college student with limited funds. But managed to pay for all this crap and give a gift. Bonus points. Her husband forgot his entire freaking tux and didn't figure this out until a few hours before the ceremony. A few minutes before the ceremony when she screamed at me for like the 500th time that day I snapped and told her either she cut her crap or I was getting in my car and going home. She cut her crap. The rest of it went fine. Yes, I have an appreciation for what really broke is and I was not that. Right on bridesmaid. Rain in that bulls. Good job. She wouldn't let our friend who was on chemo to sit down after they all walked down the aisle. B for bride. F for friend. F had very aggressive breast cancer that she battled for 2 years. One of her doctors in Texas was charged with attempted murder for trying to poison a colleague. So she was going through a very hard time. Google Texas Oncologist Poisoning. B is a me 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 type of person that has a controlling husband and doesn't do anything without him. Immediately after the wedding B finds out her new mill also got breast cancer. But her prognosis was not bad at all. F was going to treatment in Texas, Boston, Chicago, ETC just to try to beat it. When she found out that the experimental treatments weren't working for her. She wanted her best friend. B. To provide some support. B told her to try to understand why she couldn't. Because her mill also had BC. B cut contact. Wouldn't call back. Respond to texts. Nothing. After we heard from F's husband that they no longer were in contact. We also cut contact with B and her new husband. Everything she did. Or didn't do. Was enough for us. We got a call one day from F's husband. The call made it seem as though F was ready to see people but it would be in the hospital. We went there, super happy to finally see her. When we got there, we saw people we never met crying and that's all it took for us to know it was F dying. We were there to send her off. I ended up with a nasty staph infection in my hand from the hospital. Her funeral was a week later. That was when I texted B a nasty message about what a crap friend she had been and that I hoped she was happy that she didn't get to say she was sorry or goodbye to her so called best friend. Mind you, I had no F for about 3 years and rarely saw her. F was an oncology nurse. Go figure. She told her husband that I was one of the only ones that would reach out to her and ask her how she was doing when B wouldn't even reply to a text. B showed up to the viewing. I flipped her off and told her to stop acting. I actively hate her. Some people are such ignorant assholes. When I get married it's going to be relaxed. Good music. Good alcohol and good friends. Sit when you like FFS. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.